Hi guys, this is Michonne from Keep It Up With Sean and today I am going to share to you our flight experience traveling to Philippines from Belgium. But before that, uh, let me discuss first what are the entry requirements needed for you to be able to enter the country. First, we need to register to the Philippine Authority uh, for an electronic arrival card which should be filled in 72 hours before our departure. So there is a link on that. I will post it down. At, to be able to fill in, you need to have your flight information, flight details like your flight number, your passport number, uh, your departure date, what vaccination status, and what is your address and contact number in the Philippines. After filling it up, you are going to print like this with a QR code with your name on it and they can just scan it and all of the information that you entered via the link will be going to be scanned by the Philippine Authority. And you need to present your uh, proof of vaccination for fully vaccinated individuals. Uh, we, we don't need to present any results of PCR tests or, or antigen tests. But then if you are not vaccinated, then you need to present the PCR test before your departure or antigen test. Or you can also test self in the airport. And then, of course, we need to have a valid passport. Valid passport, which is at least for six months. And then, um, I think that's the, only the three requirements that are needed today to enter Philippines. So, I will keep you posted as soon as we reach the airport. See you later. Bye. Uh, this is Omar Ray going to Seventh Airport. Uh, my parents are lo in law are going to bring us there. Uh, the weather in Belgium is very cold, so we still have winter here, and it was raining a uh, lot of traffic. We have an option here in Seventh Airport about kiss and ride, where you can. Uh, the passengers can just be dropped for maximum 10 minutes and you don't have to pay for it. So after saying goodbye to my parents and law, we enter the airport and voila, here we are. So we are now here in Brussels Airport, so it's in Saventem and uh, we are going now to check in bound for Munich and then from Munich we are going to fly to Singapore and then finally from Singapore to Manila. So I will update you later guys. So this is our baggages. So we have a 23 kilogram allowance per person but then ours are 26 kilos. I hope it will be okay. We are now inside the airport after check-in and after the control. So we are now uh, waiting for our flight and we are drinking some coffee and tea. And uh, our baggage is around 26 uh, kilo, but still they admitted us and without extra cost. So my advice is please uh, check in on time. So we are three hours uh, before our flight already checked in and we got our boarding pass so our baggage will reach until Manila so we don't have to to carry our heavy baggage and uh, so we're going to stop in Munich we just present our boarding pass and then we'll go to Singapore by the way guys when we check in uh, we are going to fly with Lufthansa from Brussels to Munich and when we checked in, they did not ask any vaccination certificate or any any test. So we just presented our passport and our ID, and that's it. So we are waiting now for our flight in one of the gates. And if you notice, uh, a lot of the people are not wearing any mask, face mask. So in Savantan, they don't require passengers to wear mask. Also, inside the plane, we don't, uh, we are not required to wear a mask. For our flight to Munich, uh, the plane is not so full, so uh, we have enough space for everyone. And uh, they just ser only serve water plus chocolate. And for our trip to Singapore, we have a bigger plane. 
and just like uh, our trip to Munich, uh, the plane is also not so full, so we still have enough space and uh, they immediately serve us drinks. And if you notice, we have uh, enough legroom space, so it's very, very comfortable, so you can extend your leg and uh, they have good amenities, so you can choose your uh, to watch new films or you can just listen to music or play some things. I am hoping to get some sleep because we still have a long journey, uh, especially to my city and I hope I can get a good sleep. Unfortunately, I could not sleep longer in that plane, so I ended up watching three movies and then take a short nap. For our first meal, we got a chicken teriyaki and some brownies and some noodles. They also have vegetarian choices, so if you want, you can always inform them ahead of time. And they also have masks. As I've mentioned, wearing of mask is not uh, required inside a plane, but uh, we saw some people wearing masks. For us, we did not wear masks at this moment. After almost 11 hours, we are finally reaching Singapore, but they offered us another meal, which is consists of a sandwich, a yogurt, and some cereals and of course the drinks you can choose coffee tea juice or anything and then we reach singapore singapore has a very in changi airport they have a very nice uh, facilities there especially the toilet very very clean and uh, you don't have to walk long far to find one, another comfort room so it's everywhere so we took a sky train to transfer to a different terminal from terminal 2 to 3 and then finally to terminal 1 to go to Manila. So this is their toilet guys, it's very very clean, very spacious, so I really commend Sing Changi for doing it. If you are a fan of shopping, then Singapore is the right place for you and also there is a hawker uh, in the second floor where you can uh, enjoy different kinds of Singaporean food. So finally we are going now to board the Philippine Airlines bound from Manila but here uh, we are required to wear our face mask. Our flight to Manila is, uh, is fully booked so the plane is full so I have to we have separate seats with my husband. The flight is almost 4 hours and still I am trying my best to get some sleep but uh, I'm not successful. Then for our meal we got uh, two choices, so uh, one chicken in the sal and the other one is uh, beef. I chose chicken in the sal and that's with broccoli and achat. We arrived in Manila around uh, midnight, so it's not so busy at that time. And then at this time, you are going to prepare your QR code for which they are going to scan. So they did not ask any vaccination certificate, so they just scanned the code and that's it. But then you have to be have a lot of patience here, guys, because there is too much people. And then after scanning your QR code, you have to go down to reach the immigration. So here, um, after presenting your QR code, you need to fall in line again to go to the immigration. So you have to be have a lot of patience there because uh, it's not so really organized, good organized. 
and uh, they separated uh, the immigration lines for with foreign passport, Philippine passport, and with those who are with ASEAN or maybe they belong to, they work for the government or diplomats. Actually, compared last year, uh, this year is uh, easier with the Bureau of Quarantine and uh, with the immigration lines. So I think it improved, uh, they improved their system and uh, it's faster now and maybe because uh, we are now in the middle night so it's not much busy but i think during the day it will be very very busy so we are lucky that uh, for us it will grow very very well and fast uh, wearing mask in the inside the airport is not uh, required here in the philippines so it depends upon you whether you have to, you are going to wear it or not. But then in the plane, inside the plane of Philippine Airlines, we are obliged so to wear the mask during the whole trip, except during the uh, serving of the meals. But the rest, uh, we wore, we wear our mask. So I think that's all for our flight experience to travel to Philippines. I hope you learned from this video and let me know if you are planning to go to Philippines and if you have some inquiries. I suggest you visit the website of Philippine Airlines because they have there a comprehensive uh, instruction uh, with your uh, travel requirements uh, depending upon your vaccination status and depending upon where is your origin port of uh, origin uh, origin country and your destination cities in the so please visit the website of Philippine Airlines and thank you very much for watching this video and if you are new to my channel you can always click the subscribe button and it will help me thank you very much bye